Uh, I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. That's right, amen. Speaking of that, I, I honestly, I did not want to preach tonight. And but I went ahead and I, I came prepared. I know better than there's my outline. I came prepared, <laughs> but um, I know better than to not have something. But as I was sitting back there, I, I and I hope this is okay, Brother Andy. I really would like to use this time instead of preaching. We've heard some great messages already. Amen. Amen. Men of God have spoken. I really don't believe I can add anything to that, other than to uh, we began the meeting with prayer. I'd sure like to end it with prayer. And so I'd like to, with your permission, I'd like to uh, ask you to come up here in just a second. And I'm going to ask uh, the men of God to, to pray. And I believe if we bathe this ministry in prayer, yeah. we'll have to see success. Yeah. It won't be based on any of the, uh, the uh, promotion, and it won't be based on the facilities, but it'll be based on God working. And Acts chapter 4, verse 31 says... And when they had prayed, the place was shaken. Amen. That's what we want to see. That's right. We want to see God shake our community. That's right. Shake this state and this country, our churches, our families, and our own personal lives. And so um, I'd like to, as many as feel able to, if you would, come on up and let's just gather right here. And you don't, let's just stand. Uh, there's enough of us to be hard for us to be on our knees. Unless the Lord leads you to do that, feel free. But definitely don't feel like you need to. But if we'll stand and gather together as a group, I believe the Lord honors corporate prayer. That's where we all come together and pray together.